Hello, I am Janice Stork. I want to introduce myself as an astrologer. I have been studying astrology since I was 12 or 13 years old. I worked for the legislature where I was known as the capital astrologer and I did a lot of astrology charts on staff, sometimes legislators, and the general public during the evenings when I wasn't working at work. But today I wanted to give you some tidbits as to what it is to be an astrologer and what a person can see. And so I thought I would show you an example of an astrology chart and what it looks like so that you can see it. My website, if you need to know more, is JaniceStork.com. That's all, just www.Janice, J-A-N-I-C-E, Stork, S-T-O-R-K, dot com. And there's some excerpts from my books there, and tidbits about astrology and your free daily horoscope. What we have here is the astrology chart of George Bush. And I thought, well, it would be interesting to show you somebody that you knew. But for me, not knowing him, there's tidbits that I see. Each one of these sectors in the chart that you see it represent houses and different aspects of our life. And um, the planets in here tell me about the individual. And it will show karma, a person's past lives. And in here, what I see with George Bush right away is that he has the leadership ability, but I think he also has a little bit of the bully ability because of the planets that he has in Leo. He has an incredible amount of pride because so many planets are in Leo in his first house. There's three planets. But without getting too technical, then I would go on to say one of the things that I find amazing in this chart that I would not know as the general person in the public unless I was an astrologer is he has so many planets in Libra. And this explains a lot to me. It tells me that he sees the world through rose-colored glasses. And sometimes that can be a problem. I actually don't think that he sees the men dying or the poverty situations or people going without health care or some of the issues. And I wrote a book called Footprints of the Capital Astrologer. And it takes 32 years of California's political history while I worked there for 32 years. And so I never really leaned towards Republican or Democrat. So I'm not trying to pick on Bush. But I think the reason that he can be president, and he can be president at such hard times, is he's able to tune it out and paint it a different picture. And that's what somebody with a lot of planets in Libra does. They, they, they sort of live in an art gallery, and work looks a certain way, kids looks a certain way, their job looks a certain way. And so poverty, people being poor, people getting hurt, they kind of put that out of the way and then get very disappointed. But by transits and throwing planets around here, I can see it's something that other people wouldn't have seen and that with this man having so much pride last year when Saturn was in Leo opposing his planets including Venus which is heart issues he really was hurt he was hurt because his popularity had gone down this shows me that Saturn fell for many many years since to 2001 since the terrorist attack and so actually he has been receding and but Beyond George Bush's chart, another chart that I think that you would find interesting that I did as a tidbit at the last minute was Ronald Reagan, President Ronald Reagan's chart, and it's completely different. And when I was studying it last night, when I blew it up for this, I realized some things I didn't realize before. This man, he was an Aquarian, and whenever I see somebody who's an Aquarian, I sort of say that I know the mistake God made. He made men who are Aquarian stronger than the women who are Aquarian. I mean, weaker. They, they are more, they're more feminine. They, they take the back role. They need a woman to pull them out. Whereas the women born under Aquarius are a lot stronger. But Ronald Reagan's chart shows somebody to be very strong, who knew his convictions, who would stand up to something. His karma, because he has Saturn and Taurus over here with several other planets, was money, so he was very conservative. But the thing that he had was compassion. And he could, he, compassion and friendships were important to him. He could feel for the underdog and want to try to help. And that's the difference between the two. Again, I've written a book. It's Footprints of the Capital Astrologer. I've given you tidbits of astrology where you can learn so much about your life. And thank you for watching my video today. One of the things that I wanted to mention about President Ronald Reagan that most people have no idea about is his wife, Nancy Reagan, believed in astrology. 
And she had her own astrologer, was Joan Quigley. And, and she had this astrologer back when I was working with the legislature. I went to work there in 1968. And what people wouldn't know about Ronald Reagan is I had legislation introduced by a legislator, Ed Zeberg, here in Sacramento, that was co-authored by several legislators that Ronald Reagan signed into law. This piece of legislation, AB 3503, that he signed in 1974, legalized astrologers, and it took it out of the realm of the psychics and the palm readers. And so I thought that that would be interesting for people to realize. And the, if you go to my website at www.janicestork.com, then you will be able to see this piece of legislation. Um, there are reports that I do on individuals that relate to compatibility, career, finances, and there's personal consultations and other books that I've written. But again, I have written Footprints of a Capital Astrologer, where I was known as the Capital Astrologer.